New York Congressman Dan Goldman was visiting Israel with his family over the weekend when those attacks began. He's with us now in the studio. Congressman, good morning. It's good to see you. I'm glad Thank your you. family and you are safe and back home. What happened? Where were you when this unfolded and what was your experience with your family? We were in Tel Aviv, uh, where we were supposed to be for the weekend in a hotel. Uh, we got woken up at 6.30 in the morning by sirens. Uh, we were obviously aware of the reality on the ground in Israel that sirens will go off. You have in Tel Aviv about 90 seconds to get to a shelter. Uh, obviously, if you're further in the south, you have much less time. Um, but I had never heard it before. My kids obviously had no idea what was going on. So we woke up and we sort of scrambled uh, and ran to the stairwell um, on Saturday morning. That happened several more times as rocket fire was coming towards Tel Aviv. It happened again in the evening. Um, so, you know, we, I, I was lucky enough to jump on line and I got a flight out yesterday. But uh, we were supposed to come back today, and many, many flights have been canceled. Um, it's, it's just unfathomable. Yeah. What, uh, I mean, our experience was traumatic, but of course it is nothing compared to uh, so many Israelis down in the south um, just massacred with uh, barbarism that uh, we have not seen. Yeah, on, on a personal level, you experienced a, a touch of it. I want to ask you, as a, as a congressman who obviously covers and, and follows these issues, I mean, it, it, unfathomable is the word that keeps coming to my mind. I mean, Israel is known for having one of the most vaunted and fearsome military and intelligence apparatuses in the world. And somehow not only is it an intelligence failure, but then once these fighters pour over the borders, they were the military bases were overrun. And are you shocked by this? It is definitely surprising. Um, I was there with a congressional delegation in August, and we got, you know, uh, briefings about how prepared, how the intelligence works, how Iron Dome works. Uh, I did not expect to be uh, experiencing how Iron Dome works, which you could hear the missiles intercepting the rockets above. Um, but this is, a, I think, what is most important right now, uh, both in the Congress and around this country, is that we have to stand with Israel against this barbaric terrorism. That is what it was. It is as bad or worse than ISIS, Al-Qaeda, uh, what they did to those concert goers in just indiscriminately massacring people on a field, um, taking Holocaust survivors in wheelchairs as uh, kidnapping, killing children. It is unconscionable and inhuman. And we, as Americans who oppose terrorism of all sorts, must stand with our ally Israel uh, in order to uh, support them and so that they can protect their borders and uh, make their country secure. What do you think the response should be, especially vis-a-vis -vis Iran? Well, I think a lot remains to be seen as to what Iran's uh, actual role was. Um, and I know that there will be a lot intense study of exactly what role Iran has played right now. Um, we in Congress must rally together. And, and you mentioned at the beginning of this that uh, we don't have a Speaker of the House. Uh, we cannot actually do business. So do you think that I will am... thwart what Congress is able to do in terms of supporting Israel? Ultimately, no, because I, I hope not, because the administration has the authorities it needs right now to provide the support. Um, but we have to replenish Iron Dome. We have to be able to expand them. If, as Jeremy said, rockets start coming from Hezbollah in the north and more Hamas in the south, and even if this were to expand into the West Bank, Iron Dome can be overwhelmed. And that is a, a huge priority. I, I witnessed it up close, how essential and effective it is. It is the greatest defense system that we know in order to literally, with radar heat-seeking um, missiles, essentially intercept rockets that would otherwise be going at Tel Aviv, Jerusalem, wherever. So um, that is really what our focus has to be. And I hope the Republicans will get their act in order so that we can move forward and provide the support that Israel needs. Right. Your Congressman Dan Goldman, again, glad to know that you and your family are safe. Thanks for your time this morning. Thank you. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.